Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to my jazz comp recital. Cue the applause. Yes. So just as a sort of side story, I've been working in stage crew for three years since my first semester. We do the live sound and we do everything here. I've watched at least a hundred senior recitals of all different kinds. And every time someone does, you know, they have like all their friends, like 15 musicians, different kinds of bands, and everyone's moving around. All I thought to myself was, man, when I do my show, I'm gonna have like a power trio, and that's gonna be it. And then it turns out I'm totally not doing that, and I have two bands, and it's gonna be a thing. But I hope the music makes up for it. So anyway, this is a band that Noah and me, we recently put together. We had these two gigs. And he was like, let's just do this crazy string band. And I was like, sure, okay, let's do it. And then it turns out that it really worked. Like the musicians are really good. And the, you know, we recorded all of our tracks. We should have an album coming out sometime, hopefully this year. And then we had a different violin player in the first edition, but now we have the beautiful Sofia Chiarandini. And then I'll introduce the rest of them later. You know. It's an advanced ukulele. <laughs> level two. Yeah, level two ukulele. All right, uh, the new one, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wrote that song like a week ago. It's never been played. I'm Ooh. so glad it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was really scared. All right. So that's a. So that's a tune I called Gaiteriando. Uh, the rhythm is called Gaita. It's a rhythm from my country, from Venezuela. And Eddie, she's a piano player. She's a friend of mine. I was finishing this tune in a in a class. Sorry, but they were checking other work, so it was cool. And then she looked at it. She saw what I was writing, and she was like, "What is that?" And I was like, "It's a new tune." And then I think she said something like, you know, what do you what do you want to call it? And I was like, I don't know, Eddie. And she was like, oh, you know. And then I, but then Eddie didn't sound that good, so I just called it Gaiteriando, which is funnier. So if she's here, you know, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, that second song was a waltz called Canción para Paulina. I wrote it for a woman called Paulina. <laughs> and so the story goes. And now we're going to close with a joropo called Rapsodioso, which I almost kind of stole from a, another well-known piece in the Venezuelan repertoire, but they don't know yet, so it's good. And just the A part. Everything else is mine. And then, uh, first off, I want to introduce the band. So we have Joao Perusi on guitar. Yeah. We have Ethan Satiawan on mandolin. Yeah. We have Noah Harrington on bass. Yeah. We have Parker Owsley on cello. Yeah. And on her first gig, and now official member of the band, we have Sofia Chiarandini. Yeah. And we still don't have a name, right? I thought it was Noah Imarizio. Noah Imarizio. There you go. I don't know. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. How long
Yeah, this is an amazing man. And now for all the multi Python fans, time for something completely different. And so, oh, Stephen, did you prepare any of the Australian jokes? Where are you? Where is Stephen? Did you got any jokes? I don't have any jokes. Okay, well then, yeah, we need to start moving things around. Not a single joke. Not a single joke. <laughs> so then, for usual, what I've done here at Berkeley before I put together this craziness is that I've been writing horn music and combining it with Latin and Venezuelan rhythms and so on. So now the second band is going to be that, who should be making their way to the stage now, wherever they are. It's really dark, so I can't see anything. Yeah, go. That was a cue. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking for a while while they set up everything. I guess, I guess I should thank a lot of people. Some people. Uh, well, first of all, my parents. I mean, my parents did. I'm the person I am because of my parents. Yeah, parents. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Like, I mean, I went to high school with, you know, in my country, you still. Like, um, you know, where I come from, uh, and really Latin America in general, mus musicians are not seen as, no, you go, uh, musicians are not seen as people with, you know, sort of stable careers, stable lives, you know, and that sort of thing. Some of it is strictly cultural. Some of it is due to musicians' behavior, not necessarily as the utmost professionals, at least in where I come from, in my city and everything. So when I wanted to be a musician, I remember that my mom told me, well, you're still going to go to school. Because she assumed that I just didn't want to go to school. And she was kind of right. And then my dad said, well, I'm glad you did that because I didn't see you working with me anytime soon. My dad's an engineer. And he, was, he always used to tell me that if I didn't go to college, I would just become a worker with him. And I don't know if he said it in a good way or not, that I wasn't fit for that. But anyway. <laughs> and then what? Barry, you're, you're supposed to have it. I think it's in your bio. Signale Engineer. Me? No, Steven. That's right. Yeah. We might have a problem. I hope we don't have a problem. But anyway, thank you to my parents, who I hope will see this video soon enough. There have been some recent power problems in my country, which I hope will get better soon. It's not there? Do you have it? Nope. Ah, I have it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. This was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that was intentional, yeah. Let's say that I just didn't totally forget where the part was. And then among other people, thank you to Bob Pilkington, who was my director study professor. This, this guy's a genius. You know, he's really good at just, okay, getting, cutting through all the, yeah, man, that sounds great. You know, I don't think he's ever said that to me in like that kind of way where you go like, okay, but I still need to get better. So like, what do I do now? No, he'll go like, okay, well, this is that, and this is that, and I don't know why you did that, and you, this is really cool, do that. And then I'm like, okay, thank you for changing my life. And then thank you to so many other teachers. Thank you to the musicians who are doing this, some of the best musicians I've met. Ivana Cuesta on drums. Side story. She doesn't like that I say this, but as far as I know, she's the only drummer, or at least in recent years, that had three drum faculty at her recital, just sitting there going like that. <laughs> just like analyzing everything. So the fact that she's here and all these amazing musicians, and now we're going to play the rest of the program, and I hope everything's going to go well. <laughs>
so that was my 10 minute piece. I think, I think we played it so fast, it's technically not, but you know. we'll see. Uh, okay, so that was called Tercera y Ultima, means third and last, making reference to a bunch of things, mainly to my mom. Whenever she got mad at me, she would be like, I'm going to count to three, and that's going to be the last. And so it comes from that. So thank you, mom, for giving me that title. <laughs> now we're going to chill things out with a bio I wrote. It's called Onomadi, which I think I'm pronouncing it right, sort of. And it just means nomad, you know, about nomading around. And it's going to feature a bunch of people. So yeah. Oh, by the way, this, that was Jose Ignacio on the soprano sax. It's Ignacio Santos. Yeah. And I want to thank Simon Breedlove on tenor and Aaron Hayashi on Barry, because they played on my 10 minute. No, but on this one. We'll let him solo first, and then I'll say that. Yeah. He hasn't proven. He hasn't proven that he can solo this. Yeah. He needs to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh, okay. well, that's making this. Well, we can start.
was Onomaji featuring again Jose Ignacio Santos, and last time on the clarinet. <laughs> and the newest addition to my musical fiascos, Stephen Bai. B? Bai? Bai. Stephen Bai. Yeah. All the way from Australia. <laughs> Australia just has like really good musicians. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do Hokuman, which is a horopo. We're going to do it as fast as humanly possible. As fast as Jose Ignacio can breathe. No, I'm kidding. We'll do it normal time. <laughs> Carla Restivo, on the alto side. Yeah. No, Steven, sí, pero tú no. I'm a terrible man.
Okay, now I'm doing it right. This one did feature Carla Restivo on the alto sax. Yeah. And Noah Harrington on bass. Yeah. And then also we have, you know, if m some of you may know Alexis because he does a bunch of fancy BPC shows where he plays everything that's not really necessary to the chart, all the percussion stuff. <laughs> but the best thing about Alexis is that he plays the maracas, which is an incredibly difficult instrument to play as good as he does. And you may think, oh, you know, it's just like a little shaker. No, there's like a lot of, you know, science that goes on how you <laughs> shake that. So thank you, Alexis, for playing in the show. Yeah. Oh, it's the last one. Oh. We've reached the last tune, which is the favorite of the band, especially of Carla. It's not. And then I'm going to introduce the rest of the band. So, well, I'm just going to go around. So again, Jose Ignacio Santos on soprano and clarinet. <laughs> Carla Restivo on alto. Stephen Bythe on the tenor. We got Noah Harrington on bass. We got Ivana Cuesta on the drums. Yeah, more. Yeah. And then Alexis Soto on percussion. Uh, my name is Mauricio Fiore. Thank you for coming. This is the last tune called Dance du Printemps. And if you figure out the time signature, let me know. And maybe, I mean, I won't give you anything, but I'll congratulate you. <laughs>
Thank you, everybody. Have a good day.